So Isa does not say Ya Qawmi, he says Ya Bani Israel. And he called them to a teaching. The teaching was that they confirmed the teaching of Musa salam, and that they know that there's a messenger coming after and his name is Ahmed. Which is very interesting that the Quran uses the word Ahmed, not the word Muhammad wasallam. The word Ahmed is the name of the Prophet wasallam in the heavens. This is a ghaybi knowledge that Isa salam, was given of the messenger of Allah and it means the most praised one. Now if you look, in the uh, Greek dictionary, the Muslims like uh, Ahmed Didad and other Muslims have uh, indicated that the word paraclete is an actual perversion of the word uh, paraclete, which means the praise one. But if you look at the word in Greek, even the word that exists now in their gospel according to John, the word itself, its first and primary meaning according to classical Greek lexicons is the intercessor, al mushaffiq the one who intercedes for a people. That is the maqam of Ahmed sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is his maqam in the akhirah. He is Ahmed in the akhirah because he is the intercessor of humankind. He intercedes for the believers. This is his maqam alayhi wa sallam. لا يشفع عنده إلا بإذني. No one intercedes in the presence of Allah except with his permission. And the first given permission to intercede is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bani Israel, a group of them believed, and a group of them disbelieved. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says an extraordinary thing. فَأَيَّدْنَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا عَلَىٰ عَدُوِّهِمْ We gave strength and victory to those who believed of the Messiah, Ibn Maryam. Those who believed, we gave them victory over their enemies, and they became the Zahirin. In, the, in this verse, there are three verses in the Qur'an that are mentioned. Very similar, kafirun, mushrikun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هُوَ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولُهُ بِدِينَ الْحَقِّ بِدِينَ الْحَقِّ لِيُظْهِرُهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْمُشْرِكُونَ Three times it's mentioned in the Qur'an. From the Muslim perspective, there are three false or uh, altered ways of worshipping Allah. There's the way of the Nasara, there's the way of the Yahud, and there's the way of the Mushrikeen. This is how Islam has demarcated beliefs. Islam will be manifest over these three traditions as it has in the past and it will so it towards the end of time. The word that they asbahu zahirin, they became manifest. This did not happen in the lifetime of Isa alayhi salam. If you look at the history of Isa alayhi salam, his, his uh, prophetic uh, movement and his prophetic message was not fully implemented. A group of Bani Israel believed in him, but a group of them plotted with the Romans against his people, and eventually they were actually massacred and wiped out in 60 AD. And this is all, you can study this in the history. There were a group of early Christians called the Ebionites, and they were a Semitic Christian. They were Jewish people who had embraced the message of Isa alayhi salam. They were waiting for somebody to come after. And this is in their books. Fascinating uh, information of the Dead Sea Scrolls. If you know about this, the Dead Sea Scrolls were some books that some uh, poor Bedouin people found in the caves in Qumran, near, just outside near the Dead Sea. And they went and sold them to some Armenian traders. And the Armenians sold them to some uh, Orthodox priests who sold They're all out for money. Everyone's trying to make more money. And they uh, eventually got sold to the Catholic Church. The Nag Hammadi Library was a library that was dis discovered in 1947. The Nag Hammadi Library within less than three years was completely translated and published. Unlike the Dead Sea Scrolls, over 40 years have passed since they were discovered and they have yet to be fully disclosed to the scholars. There have been major complaints by biblical scholars in universities all over the world that the Israeli government, in complicity with the Catholic Church, did not allow these manuscripts to be examined by scholars. And we have to ask why. What, why is it that the Nag Hammadi library that was found in Egypt, which was actually a much larger volume of work, 
was translated within three years and published for the scholars all over the world to examine and look at, which included Apocrypha, it included the Gospel according to Thomas, it included the Infancy Gospels, which confirm stories in the Qur'an that uh, they did not have sources for. These people, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls, are part of a movement, some say from the Essenes, but there were a group of Christians that were Jewish people following the way of Isa and waiting for a prophet to come after Isa alayhi salam.